We must up the place, turn up the bass and make them. We must up the place, turn up the bass and make them. We 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 must up the place, turn up the bass and make them. We we must up the place, turn up the bass and make. This look today, I actually use color, which I never do. Um, and so I went with a matte red, vampy red, to complement it. I wanted it to be colorful but sexy. Um, cause I had to throw in a little bit of me still, so I still have the warm tones in my crease. It's still a little smoky. Um, the lashes help with that sultriness. Um, and the dark lip, as I said. Um, I just showed how I did basically highlighting, bronzing, with powder that is, and everything else. What I did not show was my foundation, which I use Giorgio Armani, Armani. Lumina Silk in number 9 and I use the NARS um, it's very long you know the radi all day radiance um, concealer foundation um, in medium dark 3 Cadiz um, so I mix them together it's a very expensive combination if you ask me but I just have the sample jar of the Armani though um, so I did that all over my face. Um, under my eyes for concealer, I used the Urban Decay um, Ultra HD Concealer in the shade. Put it down below. Um, oh, see there. 441 or Y41. Maybe Y41. And I still use a yellow highlighter from the LA Girl. Kind of like the one from MAC, but this is the yellow one. And I put that under my eye, blended it out, and I contoured cream contoured with black opal cream foundation and then everything else is in the video i showed almost everything up close on the camera but everything that i didn't i'm still gonna just list everything below but i hope you like it i really like it even though i'm not a color person i really do I might just go on the road for fun because of it but anyway hope you guys enjoy it hopefully this is one of many new videos um so talk to you later bye hey guys so i'm starting out with the sephora radiant luminizing drops in ultralight it's a champagne gold color um it this product is very similar to the becca's shimmering skin perfect of the liquid one um, except there's not as much variety because this was the darkest color which is more like opal and you know they go to topaz and stuff which is for like darker tones but I bought this because it's more cost effective and it has like a little pump too as well a dropper um, and I just um, blended it out with my beauty blender which is damp remember I always use my beauty blender when it's damp always so now I'm going to set under my eyes with the Laura Mercier translucent powder that's right where my concealer is because I'm going to set the actual highlighting part with an actual powdered highlighter. I'm going to bake a little bit and I'm going to leave some of that under my eyes so that I can catch a fallout of the colorful eyeshadow just in case there's any. Using Becca Opal, <clears throat> that's my travel size and that's a random blush brush but it's, um, that's actually a Maybelline blush brush that I love. It's, I'm die hard for it but whichever one is fine for you, whichever brush you like. I'm going to use my Makeup Forever number 122 brush, which is a straight and wavy brush. I absolutely love it. And I'm using that to apply my, my, what do you call that, my bronzer, which is Mineralized Skin Finish Natural Mac in dark tan. Love it all the time. Now I'm using it to Makeup Forever bronzer, matte bronzer in the shade number 40, right in the hollows there and a little bit on my nose, just to add a little dimension. Now I'm going to go in with my eyes and I'm using a Coastal Scents Gautier brush. They only have one like that blending brush. And I'm using Coastal Scents Pumpkin Pie Staple. And I'm using Coastal Scents Oatmeal Tan. These are two really good blending colors and I love them. I'm also going in with Morphe Brushes um, Eyeshadow in Spice, which is very orange. And that's ES14 just in case you need the code. Um, and that's just adding extra warmth because I really need colors to pop and now I'm going in with Coco Bear from Makeup Geek and that's right in the outer view there to add more depth as I said before and yeah I'm gonna add a little bit more spice right between where my brow bone meets like my crease colors 
and I'm just adding a little extra oomph and I'm adding peach smoothie from Makeup Geek as well as my eyeshadow as my highlight color sorry then I'm using Porto from Where That Night Is from Kathleen Light's collection with Colourpop their second collection and I'm using eyeshadow in Porto love it and now I'm adding a base which is Makeup Geek gel liner in fame love it and it's going to complement the color that we're going to use mind you i did use a blending brush a real technique synthetic blending brush to blend out some of this gel liner so that it would be more seamless before adding coconut by color pop with my finger and then using another blending brush which is not as stiff not as loose as the gold hair brushes to kind of basically basically blend out coconut with the rest of the shadows <clears throat> don't want any lines I want it to be as seamless as possible and I'm just adding coconut where I need where anywhere that I lost a little bit and I'm gonna add it onto the other eye just making a few adjustments can always make a few adjustments anywhere then I'm gonna go in with a little bit more portal and then I'm gonna go in with central perk which is also by color pop and that's to add more depth because it's a little darker than portal <clears throat> I'm sorry guys, my throat is IDK right now. I'm going in between Central Perk, Porter and Coconut just to make it a seamless blend. So you're going to see me go back and forth kind of just perfecting stuff. Blending out things so that there's no, not any harsh lines. Now I'm adding Telepathy which is the most beautiful color ever. And even though a lime green gold don't sound like a color you'd use every day, if you saw this color you'd use it every day. I love it. So that's in my inner corner right now and as I said go back and forth between the two colors and blend 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 till the fingers bleed what you say till your fingers bleed or they fall off whichever one <clears throat> and don't be afraid to go in with your finger because those are God's given blending tools best believe now I'm going in with Sephora's 12 hour waterproof eyeliner in the color cocoa number 14 and it has shimmer to it so it's a brown shimmer pencil and I'm taking LA Girls Glide Gel Liner Pencil in black. No kidding. And I'm smudging that along my waterline as well as my lash line. And then I'm going to use a flat um, definer brush from Bedellum Tools to just blend that out. And then go in with a blending brush and kind of just blend out the edges because I don't want it to be like an exact line. Curling my lashes now, boo. Yeah, any eyelash curler will be fine. I'm going old school with this. Oldie but a goodie, L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Waterproof Mascara, love it. Had to go away and when I went away, I got it because they don't sell it as often as they used to down here. This brush is like what you need for your kit. Now I'm using Makeup Forever's Smoky Lash Mascara, which is not waterproof but it stays damn well. And I love the brush and I love to use this especially before I apply lashes. So now I am brushing away any extra baking powder. <laughs> That's all like after baking powder. Guys, do not use baking powder on your face. Thank you so much. And I'm using the translucent powder as well. The Laura Mercier, same one. And I'm just putting it all over my face to set my face now. Anyway, that wasn't set. Going over with that same bronzer brush. Nothing extra on it. I'm just using it to darken up any areas. So I'm just blending a lot more so that it darkens up the areas. Then I'm using blush in some luminoso by milani and format by mac mix them together favorite combo favorite favorite combo not too bronze not too pink and i'm going in with oh oh, oh darling by mac um which is discontinued it's a limited edition but don't mind anyway i'm using a brush and i'm dipping it in oh darling and then i'm spraying it with that moisture spray that you saw me spray on my face Spray it on the brush and basically using it to blend all over my face. That's what I'm doing to intensify my highlight. You can use Becca Opal though, by the way, guys. You don't have to use this specific color. I just had to get it though. Had to get it. So now I'm doing my lips. Added lashes, number 43 lashes. Anywhere you go, it's the same standard number. And I added some lip balm, not necessarily AOS because I hate it. Um, put some LA lip liner from. Colourpop and some the, the Colourpop Ultra Matte Lippy in LAX for my lips. Love it. 
use lip balm under these though because they're a little drying but they're amazing and they're very long lasting so that's the look guys i hope you loved it i love it i love you and i love you for watching and thank you so much stay tuned for much more i hope and please okay later guys bye Boy, I mean bye. Sorry, girl. Girl, bye. Come on, boy, run. I mean, we'll end your week just like a Sunday.